Light lets us see the world around us. But did you know that we can use light to see inside our bodies and measure our health? Hi, I'm Josh and I'm part of the Metabolite Project here at University College London. We're a team of medical engineers, scientists and doctors. Hello. And our work here involves light. In particular, we measure how light travels through the human body and use that to investigate important things about health. Now you might not have thought the light can pass through the body, but some types of light do. Fong here is going to help me show you how a normal light source like this torch actually emits many colours of light. And to do that, we're going to use something called the diffraction grating. It splits light up into constituent colours according to their wavelength. And in the case of the white light from this torch, that's all the colours of the rainbow. At one end we have the shorter wavelengths like violet, whilst at the other end we have the longer wavelengths like orange or red. And just past the red colour, with an even longer wavelength, we have near infrared light. This is the kind of light that we're interested in, because it is this stuff that can travel far into the human body. Light can reveal changing oxygen levels in the blood pumping through our body. Oxygen-packed blood is bright red, while blood that's had its oxygen used up changes to a bluer colour. Doctors use light to measure this colour change, then work out how much oxygen is in the bloodstream anywhere in the body. At the moment, they do this using two or three specific colours from the light spectrum called near-infrared. We want to go further. By using the full spectrum of red and infrared wavelengths, we can get a much richer, more detailed view of the processes inside the body. We can also measure how oxygen is being used to produce energy inside cells. This is possible because these light wavelengths are able to detect an amazing process called metabolism. Metabolism takes place within the mitochondria. Mitochondria are miniature energy factories inside every cell in our bodies. If we can detect the colour changes within mitochondria in the brain, we can see how well our brains are working. So how do we shine light through the bones of the skull, into the brain tissue and then detect it coming out the other side? Meet Cyril, which stands for Cytochrome C Oxidase Research Instrument and Application. Gemma, the engineer who built this instrument in our lab, is going to describe how it works. I built Cyril to illuminate the inner workings of the brain. It shines light into the brain via optical fibres, which are attached onto the forehead using tape. Any light that passes through the brain and reaches the surface again is picked up by another optical fibre and travels to a device called a spectrometer. The spectrometer splits the light into its constituent colours using a diffraction grating, creating a rainbow-like spectrum. It then measures the relative amounts of the different colours in the spectrum using a camera. Finally, a computer crunches this colour information to calculate how well the mitochondria are using oxygen and making energy. One immediate and vital use for this new technology is to detect and monitor brain injury in babies caused by lack of oxygen. This problem affects hundreds of thousands of newborns every year in the UK alone and is a major cause of serious conditions including cerebral palsy. In the worst cases, it can even lead to death. The great thing about this technology is that it's non-invasive, pain-free, cheap and can be taken to the patient's cot side or bedside, revealing essential, up-to-the-moment information about a patient. Best of all, it's completely harmless, just like shining a torch against your skin. We're currently testing our lab-made instruments in clinical trials at University College Hospital. We're working hard to find out if they will be useful to help doctors diagnose and treat babies, children and adults with brain injuries. If you want to learn more, please have a look at our website, metabolite.org. Thanks for watching.